today I'm joined by my beautiful guest, Danny. How are you, Danny, today? Hi, thank you. I'm fine. <laughs> so you're joining us from beautiful Austria. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I've never been. I used to live in Berlin, Germany, but I've never been to Austria. And Vienna, I, I, I hear, is gorgeous, beautiful, but you're in the south of Austria. Yes. Um, I don't like the big cities. I know everybody says, oh, Vienna, Vienna, but I don't like Vienna. There's too many people. It's too loud. I don't like the energy. Um, I, I live here in a small uh, village and yes, I think it's better. Yeah, in the countryside. So Vienna is known for chocolate. What's Austria famous for? So is it chocolate or? Yes, I know. Everybody wants to look Vienna and but I think many Austrian people uh, don't understand why all people want to uh, look and Vienna because it's nothing Austria, special. But Austria in itself, what's the energy of Austrian people? What's the things that is really good to see in Austria? What's like how is Austria? Oh, there there are many beautiful uh, places in the nature. Like uh, I I live near the Daniel, and I love to be near the water um, or in the woods. And um, yes, I I love the the nature, and I I I never uh, go. Uh, on places there were many people because I hate this, this uh, different energies and it makes me crazy. So yesterday I interviewed someone from Germany and I have spoken to a few German speaking people. I feel like Germany uh, and German speaking people are quite becoming quite spiritual or do you find the energy of the area you live in, people are awakening or connecting? Um, no, uh, I think the people here are asleep. Yes, yes, the most. But you are awakened. And so tell me, um, what services do you provide? Because you obviously um, do a lot of spiritual work, right? Yes, um, I'm uh, self-employed and I work as a card reader and uh, coaching with the main focus on the inner healing and um, yes, and I work as a healer as well because the most twin flames are healers. So naturally healers. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. You, so you say do card reader. So that's like tarot cards and um, no. Yes, as well, but um, mainly with the Lenema. Do you know Lenema? Um, maybe in today's interview, you will show us at the end and maybe some cards. Yes, I, I show you. I have my own uh, cards. I designed it. Oh, it's... wow, beautiful. Thank you. They're available on Amazon? Uh, not yet. Um, it's difficult to um, do all the stuff. It's, yes. Uh, sometimes they, they like the pictures and they like the text and on and on. But I want to, to sell it on Amazon. Yeah, I remember I, I write South Park books and for Amazon, to, it, they go, you have to do so many things for it to be accept, yes. it's accepted. It's difficult the, it's because uh, my cards have no, I don't know the word, uh, the, the, the code. Yes. Uh, I have no code for the cards and so that's much difficulter. Yes, it's, yeah, yeah. But I, I want. Now uh, you can buy it to text me and I, I send it to you. Perfect. So what are your social media um, platforms, Instagram, TikTok, do you have a website, email? Yes, I have a website and I have um, <clears throat> a German and an English account on TikTok and on Instagram and I yes mainly create uh, content about twin flames and what's your account name how can we find you um, the German account called 
De Delia's Light 22. It's the same name on TikTok as well. And the English account, it's the same, but without the 22. So Delia's Light, yeah? Mm -hmm. And your website is? Uh, you can find it when you go on Instagram. Yeah. I have the, the link. Perfect. So you say you've helped with um, coaching and inner child healing. Mm -hmm. Which kind of inner child healing do you do? Um, I make <clears throat> a, a mix with my cards. So I, I look where are the blockage in the moment, what are the next steps. And um, I feel as I work with the intuition. I also make it called um, soul talking. Uh, I go in the energy from my client and I, I, I feel, okay, what do they need now? What are important now? Yes, and this is how I work. And have you always been intuitive, spiritual, or only afterwards? No. Uh, no. Um, before, I, I, I was really uh, typical. Uh, I have a, a metric life. Okay. And yes, it comes with the... Um, <clears throat> when my grandfather died, that was for me, uh, that hits me a lot. And that was the beginning that I know, okay, now you have to change your life because I was really unhappy at this moment. And my, my heart screams louder and louder, come change your life. You have to change something because it was like a big hole inside of me. And um, yes, that was the beginning. And Suddenly, the, the things, it goes tuk, 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 and I make um, Reiki 1 and then I make uh, the card reading course and uh, different other things and, and on and on, yes. The spirit lead, leads me. And this started before your twin flame journey? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, I had a, a, a very normal life I, I, in the age from 23 to 33 i have a long and a very long karmic relationship and um yes and with the moment when my grandfather died it was like someone shaking me and say hey there's more outside there's more waiting for you change your life and yes it's so let's talk about your childhood. So you grew up in a normal Austrian... Mm, I grew up in a, in a really little village um, with my brother, my parents, my grandparents. We all live in, in one house. And uh, we had a, a little farm with cows and pigs and chicken and cats and yes. <laughs> And your family were um, religious, Christian or? Yes, Christian. So you grew up going to church? Yes, every Sunday every with Sunday. my grandparents. Yes. <laughs> so your grandfather was a big influence on your life? Yes, because the most memories from my childhood I have um, from my grandparents. You spent a lot of time. Yes, my grandfather do a lot for me. Uh, the first visit in the cinema, um, he learn um, he learn uh, to to drive a bicycle or something like that. And yes, many many beautiful memories. So then um, you were in a karmic relationship, and then when did you meet your twin flame? <sighs> It was a really funny story because um, I leave my karmic relationship in November 2019 and I, I move in my own apartment and at this time I don't looking for a new man because I just want to be with my own. I just want to enjoy time alone and three months later in February 2020 Suddenly there were a voice in my head and this voice say, 
you need uh, Tinder on your phone. And I don't like Tinder and I don't want a new man. But it was like, yes, some something leads me. And while I sitting with my phone and uh, make my uh, account, I think, what the fuck you're doing here? <laughs> Because yes, it was crazy. And then uh, I sit with my phone and I look and I think so, no, no, no. And then my twin come and yes. <laughs> and that was the moment we are met. And some minutes why, later. Why, why did you say yes? Um, my heart. But I, I have to tell you my, uh, some weeks before, before this moment, my friend uh, told me about him because he, uh, she know him from the past and she find him on Facebook and, and tell me, oh, da, 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 someone from the past, da, 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 da. And I, okay, what's his name? And yes, she, she told me something about him and show me a picture. And this was the moment, uh, I feel something inside of me, but it was, I can't explain it, but there was something in my heart and I always have to look on Facebook on his account, but I was too shy to do anything. So I think God, or I don't know, uh, thought, okay, we need a new plan because she's too shy. <laughs> yes. And then the, the uh, thing with Tinder came. So you swiped right or whatever you swipe. Then what happened? Yes, yes, because uh, I see the picture and I said, ah, that's, hmm. And I think, okay, Tinder, Tinder is for taping. So let's do it. <laughs> and he obviously swiped and then. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> just some minutes later on my phone, there come the, ooh, you have a match. <laughs> Yes, and that was the start. We had uh, um, intensive uh, writing the whole day, 11 hours a day. Oh, wow. And he was yes. living close by? He Sorry? Lived, he lived in the same area? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you were talking, talking, and then did you feel connection? Did you? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, he was, uh, he, he say at first, okay, there's something special between us. And I said, yes, I feel it too. And yes, we had uh, a really um, intensive writing contact. And after three weeks, um, we had our first date. And where was your first date? magical because um, it was the, the moment where we look in the eyes and uh, what's called the, you know, this soul, special... It's called soul recognition, right? Yes, exactly. And uh, it was a moment I, I, it was like the, the world stands still in this moment. And I, I thought, okay, you are my man. Straight away, you knew, yeah. Yes, I feel it. And where was the date? In restaurant or you in a park? Um, at first, we had a, uh, a walk outside, but on this day, it was really windy. And I say, please, can we go in because it's so cold? And this and was during lockdown? Uh, no, before. The lockdown comes later. Okay. Some weeks later. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, and we were in uh, uh, to drink a coffee, and yes, it was really nice. And how was he? Was he? Did he also feel? Oh my God, she's the one. Yes, I think so. Okay, so then you started talking. You were on a date. Then what happened? Um, yes, after the date. Um, We, we write again, very intense. Uh, one week later, we have the second date and then um, comes the lockdown. lockdown, yes. 
And then for a very long time, we just have uh, phone contact. Yes, and the, the honeymoon stage lasts five months. And yes, then was the start from the first separation. Triggers. Yes. So five months is quite a long time. So in, yes. five, in five months, there was no trigger. Yes, and this was the start from my um, healing journey and and also my first darkness of the soul. Yeah, so what, and what, I what, cried, I cried the whole day, what day happened? and night. What uh, happened after five months? Why you had a separation? I don't know. I think it was was the the right time to start with the healing. He said something, or you said something. No, no, no. Nothing happens. Nothing, because um, it was the lockdown. So we, he, he, um, it was I think two or three weeks before he visited me. That was the last uh, time that we see us together, and so nothing nothing special that happens he was the runner yes okay so he ran he got something happened triggered and then yes i i think uh this was the, the moment where all the yeah from his childhood blah 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 and okay. yes he runs and then he say okay and Stop. Is, is he the same age or is he no no, he's older. Older. Is a big age gap or? Uh, seven years older. Okay. Not that big. Um, some people have like 20, 30 years gap, right? Okay. So he ran and then you started chasing him or? No. And I don't know. No. Because um, I know uh, what's my part and what I have to do. So I never chase him uh, with with messages you knew, because you knew he was a twin flame. Yes, uh, before we have our first date, I ask God, "What is that?" And they told me, "That's your your twin soul." Okay. Yes, so I I know this before and. Many uh, friends, they say, oh, write him, write him. I said, no, no, because my intuition says, no, it's it's the right way to do nothing. So did you research or you followed intuition? I follow my intuition so I really all, the, I all want, the time. I want to ask you about this because many twin flames they want answers, they go to psychics, they go to readers, they go to other people, they message me all the time. And yes. people, they don't know how to follow intuition. How, how do you do it? Uh, I talk as well uh, to other people. I, I, I am in a coaching as well from the beginning with another person who is uh, in union with, with the uh, twin flame and i also talk to other people they are as well in the journey i think that's normal the, the, the beginning but session. uh but i always do what i feel always because my experience is um that what what my intuition says it's always right always so did you have obsession, obsessive thoughts in the mind, thinking, thinking? Yes. 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 At, at the beginning, yes. But I think that's normal also because everybody have this, this, um, this time where you think all the time, day and night. And when you wake up in the middle of the night, the first thought is your twin. I think okay. that's normal. I believe like you have the bubble phase, then you have the obsession, then you have the surrender, then you yes. have bliss. I've only just figured out bliss in the last two months. Um, but it just it is very intense. It almost feels like your body, like half of your body is dying or something. So he, you had separation and what happened to you? You said you had dark night. 
Yes. What is it? It was horrible. And at, I have some days I, I, I prayed, please, God, pick me up. I, I really, I want to please let me die. Yeah. It's the pain was so intense and I thought, no, I, I want this anymore. Please pick me up. Yes. yes. It's now, nice. now I'm glad that he don't pick me up because I love my life now. It gets better, but during that time, you, you yes, it, it was horrible. Many twin flames want to die. It's yes. um, it's intense. The ego death is big. It's really, mm. really horrible. Yes, I think the the, the first uh, dark night of the soul is the the, the, the yes. I I have I have more. Dark Knight of the Souls, but the other ones, they are not so intense for my how opinion. Did you, how did you cope and manage? I, I, I cried because I think that's important uh, to clean the soul every time and time. And you were obviously releasing all the, the yes. pain, the trauma. Oh, yes. Every, Every emotion, every feeling, let it flow. Uh, when I was really angry, let it flow. <laughs> yes, it's I important. Like it's almost like every single thing we go through has to come again and we have to experience all together, but then it goes, it just goes. It eva yes. evaporates, yes. evaporates. Mm -hmm. And so then what happened? So you were going through all these things and then were you doing inner child healing for yourself? Uh, yes. Uh, at the beginning with the, the coaching and uh, a long time I do um, healing, healing journey. Um, and now I work with my own. Uh, I say to my spirits, okay, show me what's the next step what uh, I have to do and then I go in meditation and they lead me yes and then what about your twin flame what was happening to him in this time of separation oh we, we never talk about this what what happens uh, in the separation but uh, I just feel um, that he missed me and yes, that's the reason why did they text me again? Oh, he came back, and what what did he say? Nothing. They after uh, four months, they they text me again, and so the the next round, and then we had uh, some months contact, and the next separation come. Then we have some months contact, and the next separation, and on and on. I think four or five times. So he was weaving, so he was coming back, feeling the energy going away again. Yes, back, yes. Away. Mm. And then now, what is the current situation? Uh, now we are in separation, and now it's the longest separation, because the others are four months, five months. Now it's a little bit longer. Is he improving? Every time you see him, he's different, he's better, he's changed. Oh yes, changed. oh yes. Every time when the separation is over, I thought, wow, there's a big change. Really, every time. So do you is your divine, is it a divine, are you divine feminine? He's divine masculine? Yes. Yeah. Do you feel like um, he is doing healing work or anything? Uh, yes, he do. But I think uh, he do this work in a different way like me. Okay. So which way is he doing? I know that he also uh, made a, a meditation and I think that the, the divine masculines, they heal in a um, other way, uh, more with the head. Physical and with the head, yeah? We, yes. The feminine yes. is more heart inside. Mm. Yeah. And then every time he return, 
does he say I love you or like why why does he go away again triggers or yes I think so okay one time uh, we had a, a little fight fight uh, and maybe that's the reason that for some months we have no contact but there's there's nothing special what happens um, Yes, I think just the triggers. The energy and the triggers. Yes. So the triggers, a little argument maybe. So the Divine Masculine is very sensitive person or? Yes. He's a very spiritual man from the beginning. And he's, um, yes, he he could, I don't know the, the right word, but um He's really good. He could feel, feel, the, yes. feel the energy. Yes. Is this all divine masculines are spiritual or only your one? Um, my experience is that most DMs, um, they, they, they don't like the spiritual shit. They say, oh, that's bullshit or, or something else. Um, but he is different because uh, I could talk from the start, uh, the, from the journey. I could always uh, talk about the spiritual things. Yeah, it it was e easier, I think, in some ways. So you work with um, many um, twin flames. You do coaching, inner healing. Yes. So um, what what is the journey like for most feminines, most masculines? Is there the same sort of pattern? Um. I think that the journey is much difficult for the DMs. Why? Why is that? Because the most DMs not uh, have a, a connection um, to the spiritual things, and this is a spiritual connection. And I think they, they don't know what does happened with me? Why uh, is everything different? Um, and yes, there are many reasons because I think for the DMs it's much difficult. So the DMs cannot understand, they use logic. Whereas yes, and uh, the DFs, um, they talk about this. They have, um, I don't know, books or they look videos. Uh, yeah. They know, okay, that's the reason why. Uh, they know what is the next step. But the DM mostly don't know what happens with him. Why is, um, why, why uh, the, the things change? And, and uh, why, um, how I could say um, this is happening yes yes to me so you know with the DMs like um, should the DF tell the DM about the journey will he listen will he that's listen? a good question yeah. because um, I think it's better when the DM knows it um, at a point when the, the fears are not so big anymore. Because I think when he have big fears, he do many things because the fear and, and um, yes, they do stupid things. I was going to say stupid things. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, and the stupid things are very triggering. To the feminine yes that as well and he, he um these stupid things i think there's uh blocks in his life much blocks uh do you know what i i, I mean yeah so you know with the divine masculine um the blocks they have so from a very young age they didn't work on themselves. They didn't see any counselor, therapist. Many of them are just um, avoiding, numbing, running from their own childhood. Yes. 
I think uh, they want to change, but they don't know how. Okay. And because a long time, or the most DMs, they don't want help because they think, oh, that's uncool to, uh, to have help from outside. And so they, they stuck in their life. And when they do stupid things because of the fears, they make their life much um, harder. Yes, because then they have more to do. And then also more to um, apologize for. Yes, that as well. Because they really damage uh, the divine oh, yes. feminine relationship. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the childhood of DM, it's worse than DF generally, or both have the same? <sighs> um, I could say, I think it's the same. Um, as me and my twin, we have a really big mother wound, for example. And I think it's it's the same. My mother wound is big and his as well. So do you think the Divine Feminine, she works on her issues before, a young, uh, you know, um, she goes to therapy, uh, support, coaching, before the Divine, she asks for help? Yes. So she's more likely to get the support? In, in the beginning. Yes. yes. And then the life of the Divine Masculine, um, friends, because I see like many Divine Masculines, they have this persona, image, uh, ego, I have friends, I have this lavish lifestyle, girls, I'm so handsome and I have mon money or whatever. There's this image, no? Is mm -hmm. it's a, a, a false image, a true image? Are the friends good friends, real friends? What's going on? Um, the DM also have a a very toxic life, toxic friends. Uh, maybe a, a, a work wo uh, which is not good. Um, also toxic family members and on and on and it also yes. seems like there's a lot of addiction sex addiction drug addiction yes. alcohol addiction cigarette yeah weed it's all to do with numbing avoiding running mm -hmm. and then when they meet the divine feminine she brings everything out In, you, yes. you cannot lie and pretend yes so was the same, did your twin flame have a toxic life or addictions? He smoke a lot. Cig cigarettes? Yes. But it's getting better now? I don't know because um, I see him, I don't see him for a long time. And then with the Divine Feminine, her life, her friends, how is that? It's also toxic. You know, you have like the distorted. Oh, yes. My life were very toxic Before. because um, I have changed totally my life. Uh, I have no friends from the past anymore. Uh, I have a, a new apartment, a new job. Um, everything is new in my life. Everything. So, you know, how do you go from distorted feminine to divine feminine? Because this is something, you know, many feminines are in distortion, controlling, fearful, judgmental, scared. You know, how do they become divine and loving and caring? And oh, it was a really hard work and many, many tears. Yes. Working, working to let go, surrender. Yes. Uh, I think the, the important things for the journey, journey are the inner child healing. So how do you do that? Um, it was a mix from healing journeys and uh, the coaching where is um, 
psychologic? What's yeah. the right word? Yes. Yeah, yes, like psychology and psychology. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Because in the coaching, we just talk about situations, for example. Yes. And when you help. And hypnotic, sorry, hypnotic. Yes. I do a very long time. Uh, I, I work with hip, uh, hypnotic. Hypnosis, yeah. And so, you know, when you work with clients and you work with their inner child, what do you do? as a service um yes i i am uh, i look where there uh, that the blockage are in the moment that's how i just work uh, on the telephone with my clients and yes i told them okay i see this blockage or you have to do this now and i feel the energy from the client and i say okay i feel this i feel that um yes so you feel the energy and your intuition and the guys yes. and then then you tell them and then they then you help them with the blockage yes yes because i work as a healer as well and i i work so how do you do that you do it with the inner child or you send energy to them or energy Energy yes. healing. Mm -hmm. I, I do the um, sh uh, chakra balancing. Okay, which is great. It's my next question. Because <laughs> I'm asking you questions people ask me um, all the time. So with the chakras, they say twin flames share share the chakras, right? That's what they say. Some people say the divine feminine is more higher, the divine masculine is more lower chakra. So how do you balance the chakras? Um, do you mean how I work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, I, I close my eyes and I see it with my, my third eye and I send with, from my heart chakra, I send the energy to the chakras from my client and I clean the chakra. I, I feel, okay, is there a, um, a blockage or something else? And then I, I send the energy. And then how can the clients or the viewers um, balance their own chakra themselves? Like how do we take um, I think uh, uh, a good way is to, to do the uh, meditation. I, I love um, the uh, frequency music. Okay. Too. I love this. So you can find frequency music on YouTube. And oh, you can oh yeah. Mm -hmm. the ah, yes. Mm -hmm. um, and then do you also believe that the divine masculine is the lower chakras and the divine feminine is the higher chakras? I mean, they're both chakras, but is one more in the lower, one more in the higher? Yes. Yes, because um, maybe this change... Uh, Yes, when when the DM awakens more and more, but a long, a very long time, they were uh, in the lower chakras. I think the root chakra, it's the money and all this stuff. Yeah. And so how does the divine masculine awaken? When the DM, uh, sorry, the DF, have the, the inner union. I think that's the moment when um, the DM starts to awaken. So what is inner union for DM? When um, I have inside the feeling from, okay, now I'm, I'm, I'm whole inside. Self-love. I'm, I love me. I love my life. Uh, enjoy everything and i'm i'm whole inside and peace, without peaceful. my twin yeah peaceful yeah. loving happy yes. joyful blissful yes and then so the divine feminine must do the work first then and then the masculine yes. does after yes um when i i do some healing i always feel Sometime later, sometimes it's just some hours or some days, I feel now this is 
he works with this um, item. In the Divine Masculine works with it? Yes. So you can feel when I work. Get, yes, I work before and some hours, some days, some weeks, but mostly it's just some days. Uh, I feel okay, I have done something and now he is do the same. Right, so the feminine leads and she does her yes. inner, inner work. Yes. Once she is complete, then he goes and he has to do it. Yes. And it looks different though. It doesn't have to be him meditating or frequency music. It's yes, yes. I think um, the, the most DMs don't uh, meditate. I think so. <laughs> so um, do we want to do some cards? Do you want to... Um, check my like, i don't know do you want to demonstrate something today do you want to do like a card something do you want to read my energy or anything whatever you want to do i'm more than happy to for you to show people what you do or your whatever you want uh, 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 if you want i i pick a card for you yes sure and a message from your dm yes go ahead. yes okay let's do so a soul message from your dm <clears throat> I wish I could share my good news with you. Oh, I wonder what the good news is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, maybe you have a conversation later on the soul on the 5d so soul level okay yeah Fantastic. i wish i could take back my words okay and then when you read people's energy are you able to like are you able to read my chakras right now are they do you feel like they are balanced uh, no because uh, when i work with somebody I have to um, clean yourself, like cleanse yourself, isn't it? Yes, that as well. And when I, I always um, become the infos, that's too much for me. So yeah. there's a, a wall and the, the, the wall protects me because you know what I mean, yes. You have to have your own process. Okay, wonderful. Are there any final advice, any tips that you want to give to um, the people? Because I think... A lot. Do do you agree? Uh, many divine masculines are waking up now. Yes. Oh yes. I uh, I do um, collective uh, readings, and I see this in the cards, and I feel it. Yes, they already awaken. Yes. Because the feminines have surrendered. Yes. Work. Yes. Um. So yeah. Which? What advice do you have for the feminines, and what advice do you have for the masculine? Uh, I think the, the important thing for the feminines are, yes, heal your inner child, listen to your heart and trust your intuition. That's all you have to know. And for the DM, let's do it. <laughs> yes. And they can do it. Because like with the um, divine masculine, there's a lot of like feeling not good enough, not worthy, mm -hmm. not worthy enough. Um, she deserves better. So, how do they get out of this mentality of negativity? I think that the, the one of the most difficult things they have to do to break this um, this bad. Yes, I think um, it's part of of the journey. So when the heart opens more and more the ego they they are gets more tired and i think that's uh, the the key from from the, the journey yes so you know um is would you say self love is the biggest like game changer as well yes yes because when you um, every uh, every time look outside uh, to find things that makes you whole inside, 
no, it doesn't work. And then, um, you know, the divine masculines can be very stubborn sometimes, you know, they don't want to listen. They don't want to listen to the feminine. The feminine say something, they'll do the opposite or they do more, they run more. Is this all the ego? Is fear, fear or what is it? Um, I, yes, the ego, but also there's a kind of protection. But I think they always think about it, what the DF says. Always afterwards, maybe because mm -hmm. this maybe afterwards because they seem to have rebellion. Like the DF say something, and the DM will rebel, or I'm gonna do it anyway, or I'm dead. And then I think they experience the ego death. Maybe they have the karma for the actions, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I'm I think the, the DM no that what the DF say, that it's true. But it's difficult for him to say, okay, yes, I know I was wrong and, you know, and, um, but I think it comes a time when the, the ego is not so strong anymore and they open the heart, they, they don't, um, they, they, could not, um, how I could say, um, control. Yes, because all the feelings, the emotions get stronger and the head, they have no, no power. Mm. And then, you know, the ego death for the divine masculines, it's the same as the feminine or worse? I think uh, most DFs have also a very strong ego. Even though my my, yeah. my ego was also very strong, and it was very difficult uh, to yes accept to, yes mm. the, the surrender because my ego every time they want to talk some stupid things and. <sighs> shut up ego and no it was really difficult yeah and a lot of dfs are like no i have no ego i'm spiritual but you no know what you do and the, the divine masculine the mirroring is because many feminines say i don't have that why is he doing that that's not me but if you look inside yes every your time, twin is always your mirror always always do you find that they do it on a bigger scale like i find like it's something small in you maybe you think it's small deep down and the twin will show the mirror but bigger in public and it's more uh, obvious they make it amplify you know mm, good question magnified almost so that you realize i find yes maybe but um Yes, I think most DFs are, are not uh, honestly with themselves and it's not true. Um, and everything what the DM shows you has to do with, with the DF. Yeah. And you have to do with yourself when the DM mirror your something. So it seems to be like the communication block is a big, big issue, right? The communication block with mm. the divine masculine. So how do you heal communication block? Um, I think uh, when you, uh, when the DF talk without fears, without, um, I don't know, honestly, the, the DM mirrored that as well. That's my experience. Is it to do with the inner child? Like if you are not listening to your inner child, communicating, connecting. Yes. Then the DM. When, when the DM don't talk, I think there's some blocks inside the DF that he don't talk 
with a piece of herself. Yeah. Well, thank you, Danny. What does it say on your necklace? What's the, what's the sign on your? You got a heart, and then yes, that's that's a uh, um, I don't know the English word. It's um, it a protection sto uh, yeah. stone. Is it obsidian or something? And what what? Obsidian. Maybe. Mm. Or tourmaline, maybe. Yes, yes, tourmaline. It's tourmaline. Okay, mm. okay. <laughs> the same word in English? Yes, okay. Yes, yes. And that's the, the angel number 222, because that means you're on the right path. Right. Because you, you get a lot of signs, synchronicities. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. And the higher self coming down. So my last question before we finish because I feel like I, I feel like I want to ask you so much, but how do people find out he's my twin flame, he's karmic, he's soulmate? How do you find out? Just in your heart. The answer is just in your heart. Nobody else can you say, this is a karmic, this is a false twin, this is a twin. The answer is here. Always inside. But there's yes. always signs, right? There's always signs. It's very obvious, the synchronicities. Yes, but I, I think um, the signs are also by the twin, uh, the false twin, because you have uh, to do lessons. And I think it helps you for leading to do the lessons. And I think when the lessons is finished, um, maybe our, the signs are finished. And with the Kundalini, um, did you experience Kundalini awakening as well? Oh yes, because it that's, hurts. That's with the twin flame, right? And then what's your understanding of the Kundalini and how you can help? Uh, I think um, that the energy flows uh, con con constantly, is this the right word in English? Um, through all chakras, the, the balancing from all the chakras. And this is something you work with clients on balancing? Yes, I, I do uh, chakra balancing, yes. Well, thank you very much, Danny. It's been such a, a beautiful conversation. I know we're speaking in different languages, and I think you know that's obviously very challenging sometimes. We just, yes, we did. But I thought um, for me it's uh, too crow again. So yeah, we did very good. But thank you for joining. Thank you. Me. And I thank really you. appreciate all the work you do. And people should reach out if they want to get, especially chakras in a child. Get a reading, balance the Kundalini, they should get in touch with Danny. Okay. Thank you very much, Danny. You take You're care. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs>